Recording with OBS Studio is pretty simple, but still a lot of people use the wrong settings or they don't use certain features that are extremely handy when recording your games or recording your desktop doesn't matter. If you don't have OBS Studio installed yet, it's pretty quickly to install. Just go to Google to OBS open broadcast software, pick your system right here, then download it and install the program. And while it's downloading, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, which is own.tv. They are a big web show for stream graphics and I keep working with them because they just deliver really high quality. The link to their website is in my description and once on there, you will have access to a ton of animated stream designs and after clicking on one of them, you can scroll down a bit to find their preview tool. This lets you test all elements inside of the packs like a alerts, but also the stinger transition or the intermission screen. Everything that's included in the pack can be tested right here. Michael TVN gives you 50% of the price. The link to their website is in my description so you can check it out if you're looking for some stream graphics. And if you have any questions about streaming, I stream every week on Twitch. The link to my channel is in my description. You can click on there give me a follow and then you can be there on my next stream. So once your download is finished and you've installed it, you can open OBS Studio. If you open OBS Studio for the first time, you can skip everything. We will do everything manually right now. So first of all, let's go to scene collection, click on new. Let's make an empty collection. Now we have a clean working space. On the bottom right, you can click on settings. We're going to do those first. And after that, I'm going to show you how to import your game or film your desktop, things like that. So right here, first of all, we can go to audio now desktop audio this will probably be at default if you just installed it if you right click on your sound icon you go to open sound settings right here this will be the default device this will probably be your headset or your speakers doesn't matter we can close this right now default will work or you can just select your headset right here then the next thing is mic auxiliary audio this is your microphone so you can select your mic right here for example headset microphone but for me it's my chat mic it's my go xlr then after that we can go to the video tab now right here these resolutions are different for recording than for streaming if you're used to setting up your program for streaming then you probably selected 720p or maybe at the highest 1080p right here now when recording you don't have to pay attention to any restrictions you want to choose the highest resolution possible so if you have a 4k screen you want to select 4k right here for both of these drop downs if you have a 1080p screen than tiny tp like this i have a wide screen so i have weird resolutions right here but i'll just leave it at tiny dp because that's what most people are going to use then downscale filter this doesn't really matter since we're not scaling any resolution right here so we can just change this to bilinear then common fps you want to select 60 fps especially when you're recording gaming footage but also for screen recordings i'm recording my screen at 60 fps right now for this tutorial because it just feels more smooth and stuff like that for example when i move this window it's much more smooth in 60 fps so select that right here then the next thing is the output tab and this is the biggest one so set this to advanced go to the recording tab right here this can be standard and a recording path this is where your recordings should be saved so click on browse choose a file path and then click on select folder then next generate file without space you don't need this now the recording format a lot of people use mp4 right here but you want to choose mkv and the reason is when you're recording in mkv and then your program crashes so obs studio crashes you will have everything till the moment that it crashed if you're recording an mp4 then you will lose your whole recording when obs studio crashes after recording you want to convert this and i'm gonna tell you right now because i might forget so when everything is set up and you record something and you stop recording you want to go to the top left to file and then to remix recordings then right here you want to import your latest recording and then you just click on remix and then obs studio will convert your mkv file into an mp4 file and that's usable by all video editors okay then next audio track this is a pretty important thing and a lot of people are skipping this so right here you have the option to record a lot of audio tracks now what are these audio tracks let's click on ok and then right here we see the audio mixer now let's click on one of these settings icon and then you go to advanced audio properties right here you will see all the audio sources that you are recording so for me right now it's the desktop audio and the mic if you've done some advanced stuff and you have a lot of sources right here for example your music separately stuff like that you will see everything right here 
But the important thing is that when I extend this a bit, you will see these tracks right here. And those are the tracks that we selected for recording. So right now my desktop audio is going to track one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I can disable all these tracks and just keep track one. And then for my microphone, I can disable everything, but just keep track two. So right now my desktop audio is going to track one and my mic is going to track two. Now when I go to the settings, to output, to recording, right here you will see I can deselect these things and I can record track 1 and 2. What this will do is adding two tracks to our recording. So when you import your file in your video editor, you will see one track for your desktop audio, so your game or your music, stuff like that, and then one track for your microphone. So that way you can record commentaries of games and then you can just edit out mistakes from your commentary or remove the game sound and keep your commentary, stuff like that so make sure that you set this up and then next the encoder this is the most important setting when i click on the drop down i have the option to choose x264 and then nvidia and vyank now it's pretty simple to be honest if you have nvyank right here then click on it and never touch it again if you don't see nvyank right here then you don't have an nvidia graphics card or your graphics card is really old so then you will have to select x264 encoding. Now these settings are a bit different, so I will go over both of them. I will do NVENC first. We don't need rescale output. We don't need to add anything right here. For your rate control, you want to select CQP and then you want to set the level at something like 20 or 22, something like that. Now the lower you go right here, the higher the quality is and the higher you go, the lower the quality is, but the easier it is for your PC. Now generally with MVENC, you are fine if you choose something around 20. Then the keyframe interval, you can just leave this at zero. The preset can be quality, this is fine. The profile can be set to high. You can disable look ahead, enable psychovisual tuning, this GPU should be zero and the max B frames can be two. Then if you're using software X264 encoding, you can disable rescale output. You don't need to add anything right here. You can set the rate control at CRF. Then you can set this setting at something like 20, usually is kind of the sweet spot between performance and quality. The keyframe interval, this can be set to zero. I'm gonna skip this setting for a second. The profile can be set to high and then the tune doesn't need to be changed. It can just be set to none. Then the last setting right here is a CPU usage preset and you will have to do a bit of testing for this. So by default, I would advise you to set it at something like very fast or faster. This will work for most people. The quality will be good enough and it will be easy enough to run on most PCs. So set it at very fast right now, but when you finish this video and when you're testing your recording, and stuff you want to come back to this right here to test what your pc can handle and which setting you should select right here you want to press ctrl shift escape on your keyboard and click on more details and then go to performance and look at this we just got a new follower right here this minute if you want to follow me on twitch i stream every week i'll say it once again my link to my twitch channel is in my description so i would greatly appreciate it if you would give me a follow but let's continue right now so as i said to select this setting right here you want to start recording and then you want to select this graph right here this is your cpu usage so if this is at something like 80 or 90 percent while recording then you know that your pc can't handle more but if this is at something like 20 percent while recording then you can increase the quality setting of this right here of the cpu usage so when i click on this the lower i go right here in this list the harder it will be for my pc to run so the faster i go the easier it is for my pc so if you're at something like 20 30 percent cpu usage while recording and you had selected very fast then you can select something like fast or faster something like that i wouldn't go much higher in the quality setting right here because this is very taxing for your cpu and it doesn't give that much more quality now let's select something like faster right here doesn't matter i'm not going to record right now but if your cpu usage was at something like a hundred percent and your pc was lagging then you want to select something like super fast or in the worst case something like ultra fast if this was still too hard for your pc then your last resort is going to video and then selecting your fps right here and choosing 
30. Now this is not optimal for recording, but if you have no other choice, then this is something you could do. Or you could also reduce your gaming settings or your resolution and then change your resolution right here, make it lower, something like 720p. But I just wanna show you all the options you have. So let's click on okay, the recording settings are done. When I click on start recording right here on the right, it will start recording everything right here, but I got a message that I don't have any sources. So let's add some sources right now. So right here, we see the sources and we can click on the plus icon. And then what you select right here depends on what you wanna record. If you wanna record your desktop, for example, then you wanna select display capture right here. Let's click on okay. And this will just record my whole screen right here in this drop down. You can choose which display you wanna record let's click on this let's click on okay and then if it doesn't fit you want to right click on it then go to transform and then to fit to screen now mine is a white screen so it doesn't fit right here but i could increase it to something like this it doesn't matter right now but you can reposition it, rescale it till it fits. Now, please do not record your games using display capture. I know it works when you go to your game right now, this is recording your whole screen, so it will also record your game, but it will be very hard for your PC to run because display capture is very taxing for your PC. Let's delete this right now and I'm quickly gonna start a game. Okay, I launched Overwatch on my PC, so right now I'm gonna capture it right here in OBS. So let's click on the plus icon and then for games you wanna choose game capture. You can just click on OK right here and then you wanna change the mode to capture specific window and then as your window you wanna select your game, which for me is overwatch.x. Now let's click on OK and then just like with the display capture, right click it, go to transform, fit to screen and then it will fit your screen then you have your game right here now if this doesn't work some games just don't allow display capture to actually capture the game an example of this is csgo there are a bunch of other ones i can't remember now right now but if display capture doesn't work if you got a black screen well first of all you can close obs studio and launch it as administrator maybe it will work then but if it still doesn't you can also click on the plus icon and then go to window capture then click on OK and then you will probably be able to select your game right here in case it's a game that didn't allow game capture. So for capturing we have three options, let's do a quick recap. For screen recordings you want to use display capture. Then for gaming, you wanna choose game capture. And if game capture doesn't work, you wanna choose window capture. If for some reason game capture and window capture aren't working to record your game, then you can always use display capture as a last resort. This will always work. If display capture doesn't work, then you've got serious troubles. And then I would just do a quick reinstall, launch as administrator, stuff like that, because display capture always works. But once again, choose game capture if it's possible. So as you see right now on the screen, this is handy for some people. My Battle.net launcher is being recorded with window capture. So when you're streaming League of Legends that you wanna capture your leak client, so during the queues that you wanna capture with window capture, and then your actual leak game should be recorded with game capture. If you have any questions about anything I discussed in this video or about streaming in general, I stream every week on Twitch, so you can come in the stream and ask your question right there. I would really appreciate a follow. Or you can also place a comment under this video that also boosts me in YouTube algorithm. So even if you don't have a question, please just place a random comment, doesn't matter what. Give this video a like if it actually helped you. And if YouTube knows you, then that video right there will be something that you might like. So you can click on it if that's true. Thanks a lot for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day. Okay.